Hi, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam Kiyoshian, for those of you who don't know me. And today I bring you a mini organizational video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I organize my purse. I'm really excited to show you and share some tips and tricks for you. I hope that you really like this video. So if you do, please give me a thumbs up. That really just helps me to know exactly what type of content to keep producing for you guys so without further ado let's get started so this is a purse that I was currently wearing and I really loved the hardware and everything but it was already tearing apart a little bit and as you can see I have things kind of contained but not really it is kind of like a black hole in there I just throw things in my backpack slash purse and I really needed to clean it up there is a lot of makeup that is just loose and receipts coupons so yeah I just needed to organize it real well I'm one of those people that literally just has a handful of purses and they are so old you guys so I really wanted to get a new one and one that would fit everything that I wanted in it. Once everything was completely out of my purse I decided to do three categories with sticky notes just to make it easier on myself. So the first one was a keep category and then the second one was put away category and th that's like for things that don't belong in my purse and I just can't store them somewhere else and the third one was toss I started by sorting all of my items like doctor appointment cards and then just some receipts some stamps and just sorting everything away in the categories that I had given them and found a new home for some items and threw the other things in the trash And then once I decided what I wanted to keep, I started assessing every single thing that needed to be in my purse. I started by grabbing a bunch of different bags that I had laying around the house and you can really tell that I love holographic type of colors. So now I'm going to tell you exactly what I have. I have this Motivate Essential Oil which really helps like when working out and stuff but this should go in my gym bag I also have some multivitamins because sometimes I forget to take them so it's nice to have them in my purse and I have some hard candy these are delicious in the flavor of blood orange and honey I also have my doTERRA peppermint and on guard beadlets I love this ones just to freshen up my breath or I can burst a little bead lid and use it on my chest or for a headache or for upset stomach. They're very practical. I have an organic hand sanitizer by Dr. Bronner's and a tiny Pacifica sunblock. It's a mineral sunblock and it is waterproof. And I like it because it's small enough to keep on my purse. I can just apply it over my hands when I'm driving or on my face. I have a tiny part lipstick in the shade of Surf It Up. I also have my rose quartz. It promotes self-esteem. It attracts all kinds of love, intimacy, and a stronger bond with family. It helps heal fear and resentment. It brings harmony and peace. Next, I have this Kat Von D matte lip gloss and I need to get another one of these. It's one of my favorites. In this blue hard-covered case, I have my most used roll-on essential oils. The first one is the Beautiful Blend. It's very uplifting, it's citrusy and perfect as a perfume. I also have the Magnolia Flower Essential Oil, which is really calming and relaxing. It smells fruity, floral, and great for anxious feelings. I have lavender, which is great for skin irritations, burns, insect bites. It's very soothing. Passion is great for creativity and drive. And then neroli, it's from the flower of the orange tree. It is unbelievably citrusy and fresh. On the other side, I have unguard, which is great to support the immune system and seasonal threats. 
peppermint for headaches to open up airways and great as a lip plumper if you apply it in your mouth. Rose, a high vibration oil, emotionally uplifting and great for skin imperfections as well as jasmine. Another beautiful flower with exotic and warm floral aromas. And past tense promotes feelings of relaxation if you have tense shoulders and neck. Over here I have my contact lens case and a little mirror too. And over here I have this cell phone battery pack. A little loose change purse. Over here I have my car keys, my house alarm, a little diffuser for essential oils as well as a keychain with little sample vials full of essential oils. This keychain is great for on the go if you're a mom. I have digestion which is great for upset stomach. Balance is great for anxious feelings. Tea tree oil for sore throat. I have this little vial that is great for scrapes and cuts. I have deep blue for sore muscles. Uh, green mandarin is awesome to add to your water and it's also delicious in a cup of wine. Lime is also a great one for water or sodas, sparkling water. And cinnamon, I love it in lattes or coffee. I also have some wireless headphones. I also have some sunglasses. In this little bag, I have a little tiny hairbrush with some hair bands. I have my holographic wallet, which I get tons of compliments on it. And then I thought I could add some tissue paper and a notepad with a beautiful pen that my friend Emily gave me. A lavender blueberry dark chocolate because why not? And then I want to implement a type of filing system on my purse. I've seen several people use these to sort coupons and receipts and also just to assign a certain amount of cash for a category, a spending category. I also want to add some essentials like floss and nail clippers, a little tube of On Guard toothpaste. I have my toothbrush in my gym bag and then also some gum. I am also adding some band-aids and a cleansing wipe for my glasses, a sanitary pad, and of course, sriracha is one of my essentials. I also have this cute makeup bag full of face and beauty essentials. So inside my makeup bag, I have some Burt's Bees facial cleansing towelettes. I have some blotting sheets. I have a Citrus Bliss hand cream lotion. My Pacifica roll-on perfume in the scent of Indian coconut nectar. A beautiful sparkly mirror. I also have a little tart blush and a mascara. Some tweezers. A bunch of different chapsticks because we all love chapsticks in my house. One of them I actually made and also a lip scrub in the flavor of berry. I usually also have some foundation but I couldn't find it. I guess I ran out of it. So now I'm putting everything back in and I found this little baggie full of clips that I dumped in my office and now I'm just using it to accommodate some of my lip balms.
I'm also adding my lip products and sunblock. I'm adding my notepad and a pen in this bag and also some of the electronics that I have. And the oils are already in their case. For all of these little items, I'm going to utilize this beautiful baggie. And just to avoid having a lot of bags, I am going to add this one inside of my makeup bag. In the end, I decided to buy a new bag to better accommodate everything. So I headed to Target and I found this bag. I really liked it because it's also a crossbody bag and it has ample space inside. I like the hardware and just overall how it looks. It's very spacious and it has a couple of pockets inside where I can just better organize my stuff. It also has this one at the very back and one front pocket so now that everything has its own home I started adding it inside of my purse and it looks like everything is just going to fit perfectly I'm adding my wallet and coin purse into the upper zipper pocket in this bag and the outer side pockets. Some of my frequently used items are going to be tucked in the open compartments in the purse. That way they are very accessible and easily visible. The hairbrush and hair bands are just going to go right up top as well as my sunglasses and keys. Lastly, I'm just adding the filing system and my chocolate bar in the outer compartment of the purse. And that's it you guys. This is how my purse turned out and I hope that I gave you some practical ideas on how to organize your purse. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.